When it comes to spring lawn care, you can do two things. You can apply seed or overseed, which is not best to do in the spring, or you can apply a pre-emergent. So in today's video, we're going to be applying a pre-emergent, but let me explain to you why you want to apply a pre-emergent and not seed. And let's discuss what pre-emergent I'm going to be using. If you want to seed in the spring, you can do this, but it's not recommended by all. So if you do have good results with that, please do let me know. I'd like to hear how you get on. But for me, I'm going to be applying this pre-emergent. This pre-emergent does come with a fertilizer in it. You can get the two different types of products. There's pre-emergent only and the Scots Turf Builder with some fertilizer in it. And in the spring, my lawn does actually grow quite quickly. So adding a fertilizer to it is probably not the best thing to do early on in the spring. Uh, I'll just end up being out here mowing every couple of days, which I don't want to do too early in the season. So that's why I'm going with the Scots Holtz Crabgrass Preventer only. If you are applying the Scots Holtz Crabgrass Preventer, you cannot seed at the same time. This stuff will stop all seeds from germinating. That would be grass seed, it would be weed seed. So you can't apply this. There are products that you can apply at the same time. So if you are taking on a seeding project, maybe consider tenacity. Now before applying this product, I would take a couple of steps. If you do have any dog toys or anything on your lawn, you're probably going to want to remove them. If you're planning on dethatching or aerating, I do that now before applying the product. This product is going to create a layer or barrier against all weed seeds. So if you go and apply this product now and then dethatch or aerate, you're going to break that barrier and allow weed seeds to germinate in the gaps where you've taken plugs from or just dethatched and scratched the surface. And today I'm going to blow any leaves off of the lawn, pick up anything else that's on the lawn before applying this product. I have been closely monitoring the temperature of my lawn and it's getting to that 50 degree point so that means that I want to get this preventer down before crabgrass starts germinating between that 50 and 55 degree point. I have two set differences in my lawn. This side over here is getting a lot of sun so it's actually a little bit warmer and this side over here is lagging behind a little bit. So I want to get this stuff down to really protect this side over here. So you want to know how to check the temperature of your lawn. Make sure you check the video in the description below or at the end of this video. If you're interested in any of the products that I have here, I will link them in the description below. So each bag does 5,000 square feet. My lawn is 10,000 square feet. If you want to check out how I figured out whether it was 10,000 square feet or not, I'll leave a link to the description below to a video that I did on that. So let me get the two bags in here. We'll do the perimeter and we will work our way back up from the bottom to the top of the lawn. So before applying the product, make sure you read the label on the back of the packaging. You can apply this product as a split application. So you apply half now and half um, at a later date. But I just went for a full application at this time. So I made sure my spreader set and reflected this and went by what the packaging said. And then started spreading around the perimeter of my yard with the edge guard on. And then started making laps across the yard at the longest point like you can see here. All that's left to do now is get some water on this lawn. I need to put a quarter to half an inch of water on there to really soak this in. I need to get my sprinklers hooked up, so I'm going to take care of that now. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to check out this video here. I'm sure you enjoy this one too. But with that all being said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.